today, God. Hallelujah. We raise our expectation because you are our God. We raise our expectation because you are our king. We raise our expectation because you're able to do everything. You're able to do exceedingly and abundantly of what we can ask or think. So we praise you in this place. We give you the glory in this place. We give you the honor in this place. We honor you on today. We come to you, Father, as a generation that's seeking your face. We come to you today as a generation that wants more from you. We come to you today as a generation who desires you, oh God. Have your way in this place. Have your way in this sanctuary. Have your way in our hearts. Have your way, oh God, in our minds. Have your way, God, in our lives. We're asking you to come on in, God, right now. Come on in, Jesus. We want you to have your way in this conference. We want you to move in this conference. We want you to set yourself in this conference, God. Rest in this place, Lord. We lift up, oh God, every component of this conference. We lift up every workshop. We lift up every speaker. We lift up every singer. We lift up every psalmist. We lift up every musician. We lift up every greeter. We lift up every guest. We lift up every member, oh God, every person in this place, oh God. We lift up before you, God, and we lift you up in this place. You said if you be lifted up, God, you'll draw all of us to yourself. So we lift you up. We lift you up. Hallelujah. We lift you up and we magnify your name. We lift you up and we glorify your name. We lift you up and we exalt you above our circumstances. Hallelujah. We exalt you above our problems. Hallelujah. We exalt you above every situation we're facing. Even on today, we exalt you. We lift you up. We magnify you. We praise you because you're God. And you said if you we praise you, God, you'll dwell in this place. You inhabit the praises of your people. You inhabit the praises of your people. You inhabit the praises of your people. So we praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, oh God. Oh God, rest in this place. Oh God, rest in this place. Oh God, rest on every singer. Oh God, rest on their vocal cords. Oh God, rest on every sound. Oh Lord, rest on our guest psalmist. Rest in this place. Your anointing God, send it strong and send it with power. Your anointing God, send it with strength. Your anointing Lord that breaks every yoke, that destroys every yoke that lifts every burden, that lifts heavy burdens, lifts our burdens tonight, lifts our burdens tonight, lifts our cares tonight, lifts every concern tonight, lifts every worry on tonight, lifts us God, and lifts us by your power, lifts us God, and lifts us by your anointing, lifts us oh God, and lifts us with your strength, come with your strength on tonight oh God, come with your anointing on tonight oh God, come with your power on tonight, oh God, come on God, with your glory on tonight, come on God, with your angelic presence on tonight, come on God, with the strength of your anointing on tonight, we need you Jesus, we need you oh God, we need you more than the air we breathe, we need you oh God, our souls are crying out, Our souls are crying out. Our souls are crying out. We want more of you. That's why we're here tonight. We want more of you. That's why we're here for this Watch Me Rise. We want to go higher. We want to go higher. We want to go higher. We want to go deeper. We want to go deeper. The deep calls out to the deep. The deep bottom calls out to the deep. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for resting here. We thank you for resting on every speaker. Rest on every speaker. Your anointing, your power, your wisdom, your insight, your anointing. Rest on every speaker. We lift up Minister Dexter before you. And we lift up Minister Ray before you. Rest on their lives. Rest in their words. Rest on everything that they say. Let us catch it. Let us catch it. Let us conceive it. Let
let us birth it, let us produce it, let it work on the inside of us. We want to see fruit and fruit that remains. We want to see fruit. Hallelujah. We want to see breakthroughs. Hallelujah. We want to see deliverance. Hallelujah. We want to see healing. God. Hallelujah. We got to have our breakthrough, God. Break us through in this conference. Break us through in this conference. Break us through. Ah, break us. Yeah. Break us through, Jesus, in this conference. Break us. Get on my heart. To that next place in you. Break us. Get on my heart. Oh, God. Break us, God. And make us what you want us to be. Make us what you want us to be. Rest on our pastor. That your anointing flow and pass it to Marvin. Come on, people of God, out of my heart. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let your anointing Jesus continue to rest on her life. Let your anointing Jesus flow from her life. Let your anointing, oh God, impart into our lives. In the name of Jesus, have your way. Have your way in this place. Have your way. Our hearts are open. Our hearts are open. We surrender. We surrender. We surrender. We yield to you. We yield. God, we yield. Have your own way, God. Move how you want to move. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your presence and we thank you that we shall rise in this conference. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a house of God. This is a house of prayer. And this is a house where you can be highly expecting what God has for you. And you can totally take your seats, you can stand, you can do whatever you feel comfortable with because this is a space that's exactly for us, 1,000%. Every single age in this place, this is exactly for you. Somebody might have drawn you here. Somebody might have asked you to come. Somebody might have invited you. And you're like, you know what? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Just know that whatever you came through those doors with, you will not leave the same. A thousand percent. I'll make it super quick. I was 21 when I gave my life to Christ. I know we have a variety of ages in here, so it's been about a 10-year journey for me. And in 2022 is when I actually committed and gave him a full yes. There's a difference. When I was first drawn, it was a, oh, this is new. I like this. This is loving. I've never felt this before. I'm confused, but I know that I'm hearing a voice and I just am responding to what I'm hearing. And it took a full year for me to decide that this is what I'm gonna do. I was an athlete, played lacrosse at Davis. My mindset is 99% will never work. You're either 100 or you're zero. And I decided to apply that same mindset with Christ. If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go all the way. If I'm gonna do this, I'm going to make my life changed. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to give up this, that, and that. But I'm going to be for real about it because I want God. And I don't want to be the same person that I was back then. I was tired of her. She was ugly. I didn't want to be that. And so with God, all things are possible. So with that being said, welcome to 2023 Watch Me Rise Conference. It's about to get big. Everything in your life is about to get real big. Your spiritual walk is about to get big. Your prayer life is about to get big. Your happiness is about to get big. Your joy is about to get big. Your faith is about to get big. Let's increase. Everything is about to get big. It's about to get real big. 
Get out of small things. It's about to get real big. So, this is our five-year anniversary. We are extremely excited to have every single person in this building. We are family. That's what we are, familia for my Latinas and Latinos. Familia. Um, this started five years ago. We've had nothing but, um, that first year was 36 hours of nonstop workshops, praying, and singing. It was joy. You stepped in, you're like, whew, I'm happy. <laughs> this random smile on my face, this feels good. So that was the first year. Had some really good deliverance workshops. We talked real, guys. We were nitty gritty with conversations. There was no surface level conversations here. That was the first year. Then we had Jonathan Nelson. We had amazing worship and people became free. People did not walk out the same. It was amazing. And then COVID happened. We all know what that was. It was like a bloop. Time went by. Um, we had virtual workshops with CC Winans and other artists and other individuals as well. Um, and we just had amazing time breaking bread, growing together, building together, breaking together, and being better individuals for God. Um, and now welcome to 2023. So we're so excited to have Bree in the building today. Lord, we just cover her in worship. I just want to encourage everybody, when you worship, worship. Who cares what the person on the left looks like? You didn't come for them anyways. Who cares what you look like? Just worship. Just worship and be free. All right? So I'm going to do some intro small questions, okay? And then you have the opportunity to win some gift cards. I like free stuff. You know, five-finger discount back in the day before salvation. But I like free things. So what I want to know, I need a uh, Sister Donita. So whoever wins these three questions, I need you to go to Sister Donita in the back. If you can raise your hand, sis, we love you. Perfect. Um, you will go to her and she will take down your first, your last name, your email, and she will award you with a gift card during this conference, okay? Cool. So I want to know, where are you from? I want to know the farthest individual sorry sacramento sorry sacramento the farthest individual wherever you flew from drove from teleported from where are you from oh nope 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 sorry sorry all right sister in the back oakland who's further than oakland oh bay area in the house tonight what's up bro nigeria Stand up, y'all. Stand up for Nigeria's in the house. Woo! Good man. Good man. What's your name? Okay, nobody else won. Just go see Donita, okay? <laughs> All right, number two. Question number two. How many people brought or invited and they came? More than two people. Raise your hand. I like you already. All right, more than two people. All right. Keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. All right. If you're wearing a staff shirt, you don't count. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. All right. More than three people came. All right. I got one, two, three, four people so far. Five people. Six, seven. All right. Are y'all the same people, though? All right, I just gotta make sure, cause that don't count. All right, more than four people. All right, more than four people. I got three people in the building. Three hands up in the building, five. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just kidding, seven? She has to count, she has to count. All right, seven, anyone top seven? Sister Stephanie, come on. Yeah, who's your, I gotta check, who's your people? Hi, 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 okay, okay, uh, come through. Uh, she bought the bus, perfect. All right, third question, so please see Sister Darnita, thank you so much. 
All right, third question, and this one's kind of biased, so I apologize in advance, but I don't apologize. I gotta rep my city where I'm from. Who's from San Diego? All right, Layla Jameson, you get a gift card if you can see Donita. My sister's here, y'all. She is 17, about to graduate from high school, decided to spend her spring break at this conference. That's what's up. Sorry, I had to highlight that. But welcome, Watch Me Rise 2023. We are glad that you are here. Good to see you, brother. It's been a while. Um, we are glad that you are here. Please feel free to worship. Please free feel to be yourself and know that you will never walk out of these buildings feeling the same or the same mindset or the same person. Whatever joy you get, take it to your friends. Take it to your family because we are building character and we are building faith. Amen? With that being said, I'm going to turn it over to the hands of our choir, our lovely choir. Oh, my apologies, my apologies, sorry. I just want to say we have the best pastor, Pastor Tamara Bennett, the best pastor. That's my pastor, y'all. That's my pastor. Is she yours? That's mine. That's mine. All right, all right, everybody ready? We're just setting the tone and getting ready for Bree, so we don't, we're, not, we're not gonna tire you out too much, but will you join with us in a few songs? We're just gonna lift up the name of Jesus. Amen, the first call, we just wanna give God thank you. We just wanna tell him thank you for all that you've done for me. I don't know about you, but sometimes he's, he's done so much for us. I don't know about you, but I owe him. Ooh, I owe him a thank you. I can't thank him enough for all that he's done for me. Hallelujah. When I look back over my life, when I look back over all the things that I've been through, I know that it was only Jesus. Oh, nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Hey, yeah. Woo. We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Lord. Thank you.
Jesus, people slipping away. Economies down, people can't get enough pay. Ask for me. All I can say is thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rock 
with it. Thank you. try to minister this song amen unto the Lord but the glory of the Lord is already in this place hallelujah angels are picking up our petition and the Lord is listening to our worship and to our praise hallelujah thank you Lord the Bible says let everything that hath breath praise the Lord I'm going to say that one more time the Bible says, let everything that have, come on, come on, come on. Everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You give life, you are love. You bring light to the darkness. You bring hope, you restore. Every heart that is broken, great are you, Lord, great are you, Lord, you bring light, you are love, you bring light to the dark. Yes, you bring hope and restore every heart that is. Everybody say, great on you.
tonight. Hallelujah. One more time. Say, oh, Our hearts will cry. We love you, Jesus. Shout, my heart will sing. We give you all worship. We give 
give you our worship. Hallelujah. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it, God. Hallelujah. 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 Just keep praising him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him a real praise. From the depths of your heart. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you glory. We give you glory. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you, Lord. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We give you glory, honor, and praise, Jesus. We give you glory, honor, and praise, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we give you all the praise. Hallelujah. We want to encourage somebody with this next song. Hallelujah. We want to encourage you that it doesn't matter what you are going through. You must believe. You have to believe that the Lord will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He's a man that he cannot lie. His word will not return unto him void. Every word that he's spoken will come to pass. If you believe that, just lift your voice. We got to believe it. That's the first thing. We, we have to believe it. If we don't believe it, what are we doing? We got to believe it. We have to believe there's something greater than what this world throws at us. There's a power that's greater than anything that comes at us. So we got to hang on no matter what we're going through. Because we serve a God that has already defeated death. We serve a God that has already put the enemy up under our feet. So we can hang on because we have faith that we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. So we're going to encourage you with this song. Just hang on no matter what you're going through. Hallelujah.
some love to somebody you might be sitting next to somebody or look behind you and it's all love in this place it's safe you're in the same place show some love behind you and front of you it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right how many are happy to be in the house of God on a Friday night this is what's up you could be anywhere you could be doing anything but you have chosen to be in the house of God. I'm Pastor Ben, and this is my handsome husband. We call him Elder Chef Q. Help me praise God for my husband. I love him. Stand up so they don't get you confused who I'm talking to. That's my man of God to all of the sons and daughters of this house that have worked so hard, prayed so diligently because we've been anticipating you. We expected you to come tonight. Ain't that right? Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. We waited on you. We prayed for you. We're so happy you're here. Tip, let them know how much we're so happy. We're so happy you're here. We expected you to come. We prepared a seat for you, a place for you. 
We have gone to God on your behalf because that's how much we're believing God to do something great in your life. God does nothing by accident, but everything he does, he sets us up for the blessing that we didn't even know we needed. So I praise God for you, all of our saints. Where's our Nigerian brother again? Where is he? Come on, man of God, stand up. You, we got to give you another shout out. We got to. This is our brother. Your name. My name is Blue Day. Blue Day. I just put him my name. Give it up. We're so happy to have him with us. And all that. I think we got Hawaii in the house. Yep, we got Hawaii, we got Texas, we got Louisiana, we got California, we got some other folk in this house again, we greet you. Wait a minute, we got Michigan, the D is in the house. What's up? We got the D, we got Tennessee. So grateful for the saints that are here and have come. This is what it's about, is coming together in worship and is coming together to get into the presence of the Lord. I'm so honored tonight to have this psalmist with us. Um, we're very familiar with her music and she's blessed us. And when the young people brought her to us, it was without hesitation. I just want you to know you got all hands down. All the young folk was like, yes, we want Bree to come to our worship. Amen. Amen. Give it up for her. We wanted, they wanted you. They wanted you. We're happy you're here. So happy you're here. California is happy you're here. Sacramento is happy that you're here. I already sense the Holy Spirit and the anointing and the beautiful dove that's on her life. I've already told her that this is a house of worship. We love getting in the presence of the Lord. And if you have to tip out because you had to leave at a certain time, no harm done. But if you decide to stay to get that overflow, that's all right too. You know they have after parties. I know, I know y'all know about an after party. I knew it, I knew it. So we believe that there is an anointing that can fall, that you will be drunk, but not with wine in the Holy Spirit. The Lord said that he will compass us about with songs and spiritual hymns, that there are songs of deliverance that God will use. There's an actual gift that you may not be familiar with. There's an actual gift of a psalmist that is able to bring demons subject, and that was David. We know the story of David as he killed Goliath, but David also had another gift. He had the gift of song and worship and the psalmist and that spirit in David would sit with Saul to be able to calm demons down. I believe that that is the dove that we're asking God to release in this house, that everything will come subject, that we may all enter into the presence of the Lord. So I don't want to belabor the time anymore. I just want to give a shout out again to all of the saints and the family of this is Pentecost that pray so hard, work so hard. We're so happy that you're here and all the young people that truly took up. I didn't, I didn't have to do anything to just a spot here or there because they're passionate about you. They're passionate about the harvest. They're passionate that if God bless me, there's a brother, there's a sister, there's someone else out there that I want God to do the same. So if you could please stand to your feet and help me acknowledge this young psalmist all the way from Louisiana. Help me thank God for Bree as she comes at this time. From the fruit of your lips, somebody open up your mouth and give God praise. Uh, I said, somebody open up your mouth and release a song to praise. I don't know about you, but I came to bombard heaven on tonight. I came to have an encounter with my Father on tonight. Because he's worthy of all the glory. Because he's worthy of all the honor. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I don't know where I would be on tonight. So I give him praise. Somebody better act like you know Jesus all over this place. Oh, I feel good on tonight. I think somebody came with expectation. I think somebody came looking for something. To the great shepherds of this house, I want to thank you for inviting me here on tonight. I truly, truly, truly don't take it lightly. I have been following you for a very long time in your ministry, so I'm kind of a fan right now, so I just want to have my moment. Y'all have a jewel. 
You really, really do. So I honor you on today. Hallelujah. But I'm excited to be here, and we're going to just let God have his way. Is that all right? Come on, let's go. A shout, let your kingdom come down. Come have your way, come have your way in us. We want to see you move by your power. So be lifted higher, higher. Glory to glory, faith to faith. We want to see you face to face. We enthrone you with our praise. Here and now, we want you here and now.
in this temple to come and do what you want to do, to come and say what you want to say. Father, we get the total access. Hey, 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 hey. We want to try something, is that all right? Come back here. I need you. 
Say, neighbor, if I lost everything and didn't have anything and God, you were the only thing, I'd still have everything. If I lost everything 
and didn't have anything and you were the only thing I still have everything oh, oh, if I lost everything and didn't have anything and you were the only thing I still have everything oh it's you my everything it's you my everything oh it's you my everything yeah i still have everything oh it is you my everything yeah oh it's you my everything it's you my everything oh i still have everything can you help me say that if I lost, hey, and didn't have anything, and I knew you were the only thing, said I still have, oh, if I lost, yeah, yeah, and didn't nice and warm and shoe yeah yeah and you shelter me from the storm it is you I still have oh I know that it is you yeah somebody say you never left my side it's you oh no 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 God is your everything. I just need somebody to open up your mouth and make some noise for Jesus all over this place. This is my favorite part of the song. It just simply says this right here. Out of your feet and in your arms to be with you forever. Out of your feet and in your arms to be with you forever at your feet say in your arms to be with you somebody say I bow at your feet I lay in your loving arms oh, oh forever yeah so with a shine
still have everything. Cause today we know that it is you, yeah. You keep me nice and warm, it's you, yeah, yeah. And you shelter me from the storm, it is you. You never left my side, it's you. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, it is you, yeah. I still have, I still have I came to worship him. I came to give him praise. Oh, my, my, my. My, 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 my. Oh, God. He's been everything to me. Last year, towards the end of the year, last year, was one of the most difficult times in my life. I was battling depression very, very badly. Had a lot of things going on within my life, in my marriage, and I was very, very depressed. And I knew I was depressed. I would talk to my parents and I would let them know what I was dealing with, what I was going through. And I remember having a conversation with my father and I was just telling him everything that was going on and how I was feeling. And I told him, I said, I'm, I'm depressed. Like I'm really like battling, like I could feel that spirit on me very, very badly. And my father was like, no, you're not depressed. No, don't speak that. And I'm like, got angry because I'm like, I'm telling you where I'm at. I'm crying out for help, letting you know where I'm at. And you're trying to make me believe that that's not the case. And September of last year, I remember the day very vividly. I was at my grandmother's house and I just felt that thing resting on me. And I told my husband to take my son home and I was going, take a drive. And he asked me, said, you coming, you coming straight home, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm coming, I'm, I'm coming home. Just take him. And I found myself driving and tears begin to flood my eyes. And I found myself just driving. And I made it to an empty parking tower. I went all the way up to the top floor and I began to create a group message with my parents and my husband and I began to just text them everything that I was feeling, everything that I had been feeling for the past couple of months. I told them that I just, I'm tired of feeling this way. I, I can't, I don't see any hope. I don't see any relief. I think it's time for me to do a reset. See, the enemy will tell you that you need a reset. He'll lie to you, he'll plant things in your head. Oh, just reset, or just start over. And I thought that I needed to start over. And I remember putting in the text, I said, I've tried, I've tried 
to fake this and try to pray, but I feel like God isn't answering me. And I told him, I said, just let my son know that I love him. Let my son know I tried to fight for him because I didn't have any more fight for myself. And I sent the text. Then I turned my phone off. In those moments, everything is happening so fast. You're not really understanding what's going on. You just want it all to just stop. And I remember getting out of my vehicle. I remember getting out of my vehicle, and I remember walking. And I climbed up the ledge. And as I was getting ready to jump off, all I saw was blue lights coming up there. And I remember being so angry that they found me. I don't even know how they found me. But the prayers of the righteous of the country. And I knew that my parents were praying on my behalf. And I remember my brother coming up there and him just weeping and him just crying. And letting me know. How much he loved me. And days went by because at that moment I was just so just out of it. But days went by. And I found myself at my grandparents' home. And I remember being in the living room. And my grandmother and my grandfather pulling me by my hands and saying, baby, we're going to pray this thing off for you. And we begin to pray. And I begin to call on God and say, God, I need you to deliver me. God, I need you to help me. This is too hard for me to bear.
always been my provider. When I couldn't protect myself, he was my protector. Yeah, he should have killed me when he had the chance. He should have took me out when he had the chance, but I, I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever giant he presents my way. I'm ready. Because I know who I belong to. I know who's on my side. So if I can just get every worshiper to get a visual image of when you are at your weakest point, of when you are at your lowest point, come on, get a visual image. I don't know what your mountain looked like. I don't know if it was suicide. I don't know if it was depression. I don't know if it was lust. I don't know if it was anxiety. Whatever it was, I want you to get a visual image and think about how God snatched you out of the enemy's hand. Oh my, oh my. Everything Everything to me Everything Yeah Everything to me You're my peace Everything to me You're my peace Yeah Everything to me Joy and sorrow Everything to me You're my hope for tomorrow Everything to me
somebody call on the King of Kings, Jesus. Father, we need you, Jesus.
softly everything to me everything everything that I need everything that I could ever hope for searched all over couldn't find nobody nobody that could love me you. Nobody that can heal me like you can. Nobody that can hold me like you can, Jesus. Wrap your loving arms around me, Jesus. Wrap your loving arms around me, Jesus. Hold me close, hold me close, don't let me go. Please. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. You might not be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I come to tell you on tonight that it's coming, it's there.
special you are to him. You're so special that he said he knows every, every hair on your head. He knows it. You know how small that is? Who's sitting there counting it? Only person that's doing it is if he thinks that you're even important. If you're that, you are that important to him. You are that valuable to him that every hair on your head is numbered. He sent his only begotten son to die for you. Let me ask you a question. Would you send your child for a random person that you don't even know? Would you do it? I, 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 will, I would not do it. I'm going to be honest. But he cared and he loved you so much that he would take his own to be sacrificed I'm so happy that my father doesn't love like man. That his love is unconditional. That his love is a got pay. That his love is never changing, never ending. Even when I don't love myself, he still loves me. Everything to me. Everything. What profit a man to gain this world and lose his soul? Oh, everything. I lean on your chin. I trust in you. When my faith wavers, I still lean on you. When I can't see my way, I still love you. He knows my beginning and my, why not trust him? Why not? He already knows how this whole thing is going to plan. Oh my God. He knows how this is going to plan out. Why not just let, somebody say, take your hand off of it so he can put his hand on it. I refuse to continue to do things the same old way. I, I refuse to go in year after year doing the same old thing. But in 2023, I'm allowing Holy Spirit to lead me and guide me. Father, if you have to take this pretty vase of mine and bash it against the wall to make and mold me all over again, God, do it. Whatever you have to do, oh, Father, to get my attention, do it. People don't like to talk about how time is winding up, but you see the signs. Everything that he talked about, it's been happening. You can continue to play, that's fine. Everything that he talked about, it's happening, it's unfolding, and I'm sorry. I refuse to be foolish and allow myself to keep doing the same old thing, and I'm seeing. I'm seeing it. So my posture is Father, whatever you got to do to make sure and to ensure that I'm on the right path, I'm on that straight and narrow way, whatever you must do to keep it. Anybody want to be kept? Somebody say he's looking for that one. He's looking for that one. 
There's a song. It says, I'll be the one. The one you can use, the one you could send, the one you can trust. I'll be that one. I will choose. song I couldn't do the full song because I really don't remember it that well but I remember the parts that matter songs. Well, not that many. Two more. Amen. <laughs> but God is good. Anybody know God to be able? Do you know that you serve an able God? Come on, we're going to try that. Can we try that? Anybody remember that video? I was 
sitting on the sofa. Anybody remember them sofa videos? Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, yeah. Hey. Exceed on Keep it. 
blood for 12 long years. Somebody say, I know that story. And my Bible tells me that she went to many, many, many physicians trying to seek aid, trying to get some form of healing, some form of relief. But no man had the answer. But she heard about a man named Jesus that was passing through. And I'm sure she heard about all the miracles that he was doing. And my Bible tells me that that woman began to press through the crowd. How desperate do you want your victory? How desperate do you want your healing? How desperate do you want your breakthrough? That woman began to press through the crowd. And I'm sure she was so weak. To have bled for 12 years, she had to have been weak. Oh, but she had tenacity. She had strength to press through. She got down on her hands and knees and she began to crawl to Jesus. Sometimes you gotta crawl to the master. Sometimes you gotta get real low. She began to crawl to Jesus. She didn't care who looked at her funny. See, let me tell you something. When you want your blessing, you don't care how you look. My Bible tells me that David danced until his clothes fell off. In present day, how would that look? This man is in, oh my God, cover him, put a sheet over him. But he didn't care. She didn't care if she got stepped on. She didn't care if she got knocked in the head. If somebody trampled on her, she was spit. She didn't care. She said, I got this problem and he got what I need. So whatever I gotta do to get to where he at, I'm gonna do it. That woman began to crawl. But let me just go take it a step further. She had tenacity, but her faith met. See, sometimes our faith get a little weak. We get a little weak in the faith, and then we be like, God, what you going to do? He, I, I know what I'm doing, but you don't even believe in, that I can even do it. If you're wavering, if you're doubting that he can, you didn't already lost. We got to know what he promised us. This woman's faith was at an all-time high. She began to crawl to Jesus. They said she touched the hem. She didn't touch no skin. Listen. 
She didn't touch skin. She touched the hem right here. I'm trying to see if I can feel it. You know, she touched the hem. But before she did that, she said within herself, if I could just. Everybody don't have to know what you need. He already know what you need. and You don't have to blast it out. She didn't have to tell the man of God what she needed. She didn't have to shout it out to her neighbor, girl, I'm, I'm hoping he healed me of this, with his blood. She didn't do none of that. She got low, she had her faith, and she said within herself, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I would be made whole. She already knew. She already knew Jesus had it. She already knew he was the real deal. You got to know God is the real deal. Some of y'all be down. You got to know he the real deal. He the real McCoy. He the real deal. It don't get no better than that. You know what I'm saying? It don't get no better than that. They said, and when she touched him, the father said, who touched me? Let me tell you something. When I'm in my little prayer closet praying, I want him to be like, who is that praying down there? Who is? I'm, I'm serious. When I need him bad enough, I be anointing myself with all your, let me tell you something. When I need it, I need it. I prophesy over myself. I anoint my own self with all your, I'm dead, come on. We, I don't need nobody to lay no hands on me. I'll do this. My father got saved in his grandmother's house by himself. If you want it bad enough, he going to show up. He just waiting on you. He said, who touched me? They said, virtue went out of him. And at that moment, she was made whole. He's able to do whatever it is that you need him to do in your life. How bad do you want it? Somebody say, how bad do you want it? Are you willing to put everything on the line for it? Are you willing to sacrifice whatever it is that you have to sacrifice? Are you willing? Please. Don't give up on you. He won't give up on you. Please. Don't give up on him. He won't give up on you. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. Oh my. Don't give up on God. He won't give up on you. He is able. Before I sing this last song, that was a song that I would sing. You may know it, you may not know it. But I would sing a song and it would go, My hands are lifted up. My heart is ready to receive a blessing from you. Hey, a blessing 
from you. My hands, my hands are lifted. Somebody say, my heart is ready to receive everything that you have for me, Jesus. Can we sing that one more time? My hands are lifted up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my, 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 my. My heart is ready to receive. I'm blessing. Does anybody need a blessing from your Jesus? Then we will say, Make me over again. Make me over again. Please, Jesus, make me over. I need a brand new start. Oh, Jesus, I'm ready. Ready for change, Lord. Whatever you want to do in my life.
song before that said, God, we want a blessing from you. Not just any type of blessing, but something supernatural. Something real, something tangible. bad do you want it? My Bible tells me that Paul and Silas were in that jail. They were locked up, chained up. Oh, but there was a sound that came from that jail. There was a sound that came from that jail. My Bible tells me that at midnight Somebody say at midnight. Oh, some chains begin to break. Prison doors begin to end it. I grew up in a church where we shut in all night. When the grown-ups fasted, the kids fasted. Y'all yeah, got school, why am I fasting? Uh-uh, we on one mind and one accord in this house. I grew up in a holiness church. Really. We wore dresses and skirts. I'm in pants now, but... Uh, All my life, we wore some dresses and some skirts. Amen. We was holy. We was holy. Praise God. I'll be preaching to them children at school. Y'all going to hell. My teachers will be calling my mama. She telling people they going to hell. Well, they ain't right. That's just, hey, that's how, we, that's how I was brought up. You ain't living right. You singing that worldly stuff. You going to hell. But I just, no, seriously, it's a problem. No, but I thank God for that, for my foundation, for realness, for truth. God is looking for a people that will be real in this hour. Nothing watered down but the real word of God. And I thank God for that. I have enjoyed myself tonight. We had one more song. I'm trying to look at that clock. She's I know the great shepherd said I had all the time, but I want to. I want to be, you know, mindful too, because I could be here all night. She like my daddy. My daddy be like, "Girl, God be like, come on." But no, I did enjoy myself. We gonna sing this last song and then we gonna get out your way. The Father is my rock. And I lean on. Oh, listen, I got a new song that came out today. It's called I Will Wait. I think it's a great time. It's different. So if you haven't gotten it, or haven't listened to it yet, why don't you do me a favor? And Go listen to it and let me know how you enjoy it. If you like it, if you love it, I pray that you all love it. But go get it. It's on all streaming platforms, Apple Music, Google Music, Spotify, and all of that stuff like that. It's there, available for you. 
And it's just talking about waiting on the Lord. I will wait on you, will wait on you. Even though I've been way down, he's going to take me higher. That's basically what the song is saying. So, did y'all get a chance? Tonight, go check it out, all right? And we got some more music coming out towards the end of this year, September, October. So, be on the lookout, okay? Bless God. But God is my rock. And we're going to sing about that before we go. Is that all right? rise and fall Seasons come and go Father through it all One thing that I know I can trust in you People lay you down And life is filled with pain Falling to the ground On my knees to say I can trust in you He's my Has he been faithful to anybody? I was never left alone. Oh, no, 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 no. So in every mountain high, in every valley low, I will trust in you. Oh, hey, he's my rock. On a solid rock.
was here, she would sing a song like this, she would say, through it all, through it all, I have learned to trust in Jesus, I have learned to trust in God, about to say, through it all. Can we say that one more time? Through it all. Somebody say through it all. I have learned to trust in Jesus. I have learned to trust in God. Somebody say through it all. Tomorrow we have a huge day, a huge day, so I want you to get some rest and go home. I need some people to stand with me tonight with a $21 seat. Everybody say, it's just $21. Let me explain how the Lord have always blessed us, and I, 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 I don't feel comfortable. This is just me. I've never felt comfortable with having registrations where you charge an amount. That's just me because I like this. And I always want the house of the Lord to be available that anybody and everybody can come and not feel like you're paying to come into the house of God. That's just me. It's the way we've always done. And the Lord have always had those people that would sacrifice seeds and things so that every need have been met. I can say in 20 plus years, the Lord have always allowed our needs to be met. Yeah, that's a good victory. So I need some people here tonight that is able to sow a seed of just $21. We have many ways that you can give. You can give on the app. You can give online. You can give uh, multiple ways. You can scan the, the QR code. And you're giving a gift of $21 or whatever God purpose in your heart. You cannot pay for a presence of God. You can't put a price on what God does. The thing about great worship and anointed worship, you just feel better. 
you just feel better. The presence of the Lord allows you to feel better. I saw people weeping and crying and rejoicing because that's what happens when anointed vessels open up those corridors of, corridors of heaven and God is able to talk to you and minister to you. And here's what I know. This worship is going to stay with you. I know that when you leave here, it's going to still rock with you and still minister to you because it's done in the anointing. And anything done in the anointing is spiritual and it travels home with you. It'll travel up the highway with you. You feel better. You see clearly. So I need some people right now that is able to sow a seed of just $21 with me. You're standing with me. You're standing with me because we thank God for this priceless gift and the woman of God that have poured out of her heart tonight. This girl worshiped and ministered out of her heart. I need y'all to do a little better than that. This young woman worship and pour it out of her heart and so I believe that we give a gift and we bless the vessels of God so $21 I see everybody I see people making their way and it's a seed that's a sacrifice it's nothing we you know you can't get a good in and out much no more they went up everybody going up everything so it's $21 and then if you have registered uh, something that we're going to do we didn't do it tonight but tomorrow we have these cards and it says my expectation so even if you're visiting you came for the concert Come back tomorrow night, tomorrow day. We got workshops tomorrow beginning at 10 a.m. So get some rest. We got workshops all day tomorrow. We got lunch for you. We got dinner opportunities and things that are available because we want you to come and have a great time. And then I have a special guest that we're going to see if they're going to make it in. But somebody's supposed to come and just be here tomorrow in the service. I need y'all to pray with me because I need Bree to be here tomorrow. Y'all know I got favor. Y'all know I got favor with God. And I know this girl probably got to get home for Easter and all of that, but I'm Resurrection Sunday, but I'm just saying, I have favor with God. And uh, if I ask him, I'm just saying, so I'm going to hold on to that. But um, I, I can assure you of this. I can assure you that God has something special for every person that pressed their way in this service. I promise you God has your number and has something special for you. So tomorrow, workshops beginning at 10 a.m. My son Dexter is all the way here from the D. Wave your hands, Dex. Guess what, y'all? That's his fiance, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Days getting married. Uh, they are newly engaged. It ain't been a month, has it? Has it been? It's not even three weeks to be exact. How many days and hours? But yeah, so uh, Dexter's a good man. That's his uh, beautiful, beautiful future bride that we're so excited. Um, uh, I, I know her pastor. And so when, when they were talking, her pastor said to me, hey, who's this dude named Dexter? You know, trying to talk to, you know, my daughter Zoe. And I said, who's this girl named Zoe? So we coming after my son. Who's this girl? So anywho, we met at the same time, and I saw, oh, yeah, they're going to be good. They're going to be real good together. So, yeah, so happy for them. Um, so, yes, yeah, so he's doing a workshop tomorrow. Our son, Minister Ray. <laughs> Minister Ray in the house and his beautiful wife, Didi. That's the hang on. That's his wife. Hang on right there. And their G5 uh, family. Um, <laughs> and then my honey and I going to do one tomorrow. Is that all right? We're going to talk relationships and men of substance and women of substance. We want to get real and answer questions and get ourselves together. I'm, I'm just feeling all of this tonight, and I, it's all feeling real good. And if you are here tonight and do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I know that God's got a plan for your life, and tonight was a setup for you. It was a setup for you. Every ounce in me defies what Satan thinks he's going to do with this generation. Every ounce in me. He is a liar from the pits of hell. You are not an abandoned generation or rejected generation. It's just the opposite. You are called and an anointed generation. You are a powerful generation. And that's what this conference is all about, is helping you find you and your place in God and your position in God. And I need you to forget about your past. And I need you to see this weekend at one, two, three, watch you rise. I need a praise in this house. Watch you rise. Watch you rise. 
I don't want to belabor the time much more. Thank you for your giving. I'm also going to have our officers come so that as we dismiss, if you have $21 in cash and you just want to sow that, then we'll have two officers in the back. Let's do stand in the back that you can sow your seed in the back if you have cash. But otherwise, most people use app, credit cards, whatever it means for you. But I would like our son, Minister Ray, to dismiss him. Minister Ray have taken the helm of this. Um, he has organized it. He and all these sons and daughters in this house. So he's going to greet you. You have an expectation card. So what we need you to do is I need you to take that card and I need you to get honest with God. And what is it that you're expecting him to do? You're going to bring that card back. We're going to start posting these cards all over because we're believing God to answer your expectation. So don't think anything is too much, too high, or too low. Ask God because we're believing God for supernatural things and we're going to post it. Give it up for my son, Minister Ray, as he comes at this time. Come on, give God some praise. Wasn't tonight just great? Come on, if you came with an expectation, make some noise. Hallelujah. We're going to go ahead and dismiss everybody on your feet. And we will be back here tomorrow morning. If you didn't register, register. Because you're going to get equipped. Bring some notebooks, bring your pens, bring your iPad, your iPhone, whatever you got. Android, no hate. Uh, we are getting ready to get equipped in Jesus' name. Let's go to the Father. Father God, we thank you. Lord, we praise you for this kickoff journey as we celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Father, for the worship that took place on tonight, for the ministering, the teaching, the exhortation, Father God. We ask, Lord, that you would bless Bree in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that she poured out, may you pour it back in. I pray over each and every ear and heart that had an opportunity to hear and each and every person that received something in this house tonight. Now, God, as we leave this place, but never from your side, we ask that you would go with us, walk with us, talk with us, put a person in an urge, somebody on our mind to invite to bring back tomorrow. And Lord, we are coming expecting deliverance. We are coming coming expecting equipping. We are coming expecting a move of God. Lives will be transformed. Hearts will be reclaimed. Hallelujah. And we pray that you would get all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.